What's up everyone? So first thing this morning, the duel is here to pick me up. Take me to go get my truck. Because it's parked at the place where I pick up the cars. And I want to have it back here. Let's go. What's up, Abdul? Hey, Chef. What are we doing? Hey, Julie. I don't know what we're doing. Is it uh, Wednesday again? Yeah, it is Wednesday again. <laughs> okay, well, happy Abdul Day. Check this out. Bill's just taking his dog to daycare. Check out what just happened. I think this just happened. Got the GoPro going. It's super hot. And this stupid, this is a real GoPro naked mount. Broke! Why would that break? It's ridiculous. I mean, I know it's just like the cheap plastic frame, but it should at least not just crack when it's not doing anything. It wasn't even doing anything extreme with it. Ridiculous. Bye, Chef. See ya. We are supposed to hang out, but we'll just remember that you're supposed to pick up a sister at the airport two minutes ago. Yeah, she's, she'll, she'll be fine. Luckily, we're only 20 minutes from the airport, whereas we could have been like 40. Anyways, I gotta go. Bye. Some days you get way too carried away with work. After uh, Abdul took me to get my truck, I started working on uh, the sensor for school for my project. <clears throat> and it's now one o'clock and I actually haven't stopped since. Making really good progress. Pretty good progress, and uh, I got some things working that I didn't think I was going to, and then learned some stuff that I needed to learn. This sensor is essentially just a microcontroller that's capable of having a Wi-Fi network that you can connect to, and there's an accelerometer on board. It's for fault diagnosis uh, within vehicles, basically. I have a bachelor's in automotive technology and then I started my master's and the master's is also in the automotive field. I didn't actually learn how to do circuit boards in my undergrad. Uh, I did that on my spare time and now it's like one of the main things that I do. I've made lots of circuit boards for my job. I also do design work and uh, CAD, things like that and machining. So that stuff I did learn quite a bit of. I did some time at Honda R&D, which was really fun. Um, I decided to do my master's. I probably could have had a job there, but I decided to do my master's first. And uh, yeah, somehow I just started making circuits and that's where everything's been going. Electronics, robotics, things like that. I also make funny little 3D printable things sometimes when I have time. Uh, one thing that 
I made, which was huge, it like exploded on the internet, I don't know why, when the, one second. There we go. So, uh, I had to dig this out, I haven't worn it in a long time. So when the Microsoft Band first came out, it was kind of like a spur of the moment thing. I was looking for a uh, fitness tracker, I don't know why, like, I wanted to do more walking and stuff like that, which I don't really do now, I just go out and take photos. And I just wanted to get one, and it was kind of cool that this one actually worked with, like, iPhones and stuff, because I had an iPhone. And it was kind of the first one to do that, so... We live pretty close to the border, they didn't come out in Canada, so I just like, they came out and I just drove down to the States, it's like 45 minutes away, or an hour or so, and uh, bought one. <laughs> just like that. So, I don't normally do things like that, but I did, which was interesting. And then, when I did buy it, I noticed something that really sucked about it, and that is the charging cable. It was really dumb. It's a really dumb design. So it, it magnets on the back and then it sits on your desk like this. And that's the first thing I noticed. And me who likes to design things that are 3D printable, I just had this idea to make a stand for it. A Microsoft Band charging stand. How's that name? So I made one. I made one for myself. I had it printed on Shapeways and it cost me like 10 bucks. And like everything I do, it was open source. So I put it on a website called Thingiverse where people can download stuff and print them themselves. But on Shapeways, I also, it was like one of the first things I put on there. People can go on and purchase them themselves and you can get them in different colors and everything like that. And the first version worked perfectly, which was amazing. So. This little stand, you just snap in the charger, and then the band goes on like this. Now that sits on your desk. Just like that. And people loved it. It's crazy. It was the top seller on Shapeways in November. You're able to mark them up, so I marked them up a few bucks, and uh, still really cheap. They were only, I think I just, they were selling for $15, and I'm still selling them. I sold a ton of them, well, Shapeway sold a ton of them, my design, so I don't even see who buys them. I see that people have bought them, but I don't see who does, which is a great service. Shapeways is amazing. I love them. I use them for everything wish I could promote them more and I wish I was designing more things but I just don't have time I'm trying though so yeah it was uh, unbelievable uh, people at Microsoft were buying them tweeting at me showing me pictures of them on their desk I made a video for it I think that's what really helped and then I made a second video to show all the colors I only have a couple of colors now because I did a giveaway of all the colors I still need to give these ones away, so I should do that. Maybe I'll do that after this. Yeah, so this little simple design had an unbelievable response. It was crazy. And I love that so much. I don't even know where I was getting at with this, but yeah, I like to design things, electronics, build robots, work on cars. Well, I don't really like to work on cars, but I like the outcome of working on cars. And that's what happens, is when I start doing something, I get caught up, especially with things like this. Um, when you're programming something and you're trying to troubleshoot something, it's so hard to get away from it because you feel like you're going to lose your progress if you go to bed. That happens to me all the time. I think I need to figure out a better way of documenting what I've done. Like, I, I do an okay job. But when you're working, you're working, you've got this momentum. And 
you're finding new things, you're solving problems, and you don't know when to stop because you don't want to lose that momentum. You don't want to stop and then go to bed and then wake up and you almost completely forget what you had done or your what point you're at. And this is the worst feeling. It's terrible. And that's the problem I have is that I start doing things late at night. In this case, I started in the day and just kept going, but I'll continue to work late at night and just push things off to the side because I don't want to stop working on it. <laughs> so now, because of that, I'm going to be editing the vlog late. I'm going to be going to bed late. And I'm not going to be able to wake up as early as I'd like to. But that's what happens. And you either get progress at night or you get progress in the morning. You either get to sleep in or you get to stay up late, or you get to go to bed early, and you get to wake up early. It's all a fight. It's all how you feel. I think that's it for today. I know I didn't really do much. I didn't get out. I didn't take photos. But I showed off these cool stands because I don't think I showed them on the vlog before. They're pretty neat. And the sensor I have working picking up accelerometer data, sending it off over Wi-Fi. Really cool. Anyways, I don't know, I'm just ranting right now. So, I think I'm going to call it quits, edit this, and go to bed. I've been out of routine since the weekend, kind of. The vlogs have still been great, and the response is great, and I'm getting lots of subscribers. I love you all for subscribing. You should do that if you haven't, and you should like the video if you want to. That'd be cool. But I will get back into it because I haven't really been out doing photography really that much since the weekend. And that's it. So everyone, you could all just be good and have a good night. That'd be great.